Hi, I'm Deborah Lyman. I'm a sixth grade math and science teacher in Pocatello, Idaho. Today I'm doing this vlog to discuss the use of YouTube in the classroom, both the pros and the cons. We'll start with the pros. First off, using YouTube is very easy and teacher friendly. It is easy to search, it's easy to find based on keywords, and often you can find a video on any subject that you want to find a video on. It is quick and easy to use a video to build background knowledge for students who have not had experience with what you're teaching. For example, in science, if I'm teaching about oceans, a student who has never been to the ocean or has never seen the ocean is really going to struggle with this lesson. Current teaching practices teach us that we really need to build a background knowledge for students in order to be able to help them really understand what we're teaching. YouTube offers us a quick and easy way to do that. We can search for videos about the ocean, videos about people who live next to the ocean, videos about animals in the ocean, anything that we want so that we can build the necessary background for our students to be able to learn what they need to learn. The other advantage having YouTube is that our students are able to review what we taught at home. Teachers can either upload their own videos of themselves teaching the concepts or they can search through the videos that are already created in order to be able to provide students with an effective, accurate way to be able to review what was taught during the school day. Oftentimes our parents are not able to teach them or help them with some of these harder concepts that we're working on. So having a ready and available video library for our students to be able to refer to is a great benefit to them. Additionally, students could use a flipped classroom model using YouTube. Teachers spend a lot of time on instruction. If we give them a video for them to watch the night before, they are able to come to class already having had their feet wet and pre-taught with the lesson. Therefore, teachers are able to spend more of their time when they have the students focused on the actual practice and being able to hone in on those skills and be able to perfect them because students have already experienced them. It gives us more time in the classroom with our students. Another pro to using the YouTube in classroom is that we can give students opportunities to have self-guided lessons. Our students, sometimes we go too fast for them or we go too slow for them. By having a video for students to watch, they can either rewind, pause, stop, go back and rewatch anything that they need a little extra information on. In addition to that, on the flip side, if a student already knows how to do something, they can fast forward through the video and quickly move on to the next concept. These are all great ways to use YouTube in our classroom. It's a pro to having YouTube in our classroom. We're able to help our students to be able to be more self-guided, to give them more of what they need. Differentiated instruction is made easy with YouTube. We can have students who are learning several different things if we have iPads in our classroom, students can be watching videos as a group in order to be able to hone in on skills that we know that they are lacking on. So these give us great opportunities to use our time more efficiently as teachers and to be able to make sure that students are getting the information they need. However, with every great tool, there's also the downside. Some of the downsides that I have found to YouTube within my classroom is that first, I have absolutely no control over the comments on the video. If I don't have the video full screen before I show it to my students, there's often comments at the bottom, and sometimes they are very inappropriate for students to be reading. I often have to make sure that I have read through those videos and that my screen is full screen with the video before I show the students. However, if they're using it in small groups or if they're using it on an iPad or on a computer of their own, I can't control if they're reading those comments. Secondly, there's no control over the advertisements that pop up. For example, the other day we were watching a YouTube video in our classroom and before the YouTube video started, a commercial on tampons came on. Now, it's not that a video commercial on tampons is inappropriate, but it is incredibly embarrassing for our sixth grade girls. Therefore, it caused a lot of problems. Without that control over those commercials, I have to make sure that my volume is down and I don't have my video on until I know that I'm through the commercial. 
Another downside to that is that I don't have control over the videos that are being recommended on the sidebar. Oftentimes, there's videos recommended that I would not approve showed it, being showed in my classroom. But students who are watching those videos on their own without me monitoring it, they can click on those videos and watch them. Another disadvantage is that YouTube brings up several copyright issues. It is very easy to show a video that is in violation of copyright because you assume that since it's been posted that somebody had the copyright to that and that's just not the case. We have to be very vigilant when we are using YouTube videos to ensure that we are not in violation of any copyright laws. Another one downside to using YouTube is that some teachers will use YouTube to replace their own instruction. In the classroom, an essential element is the teacher. You have to be actively involved in the students and what they are doing and what they are learning. It's very easy to want to put on a YouTube video and grade papers or insert grades. We're very busy. We have a lot to do and it's a lot on our plates. However, using YouTube to replace an instructor can cause students to be lost and to not understand what's happening. We have to be actively involved in their education. I have seen teachers who have used YouTube to replace the actual instruction within the classroom. And that just simply is not going to work. We have to use it to supplement, not to teach. We have to be able to discuss the videos. And even if we're teaching an online class, we're still using discussion opportunities with that video. It's not used as the sole source, a sole source of information. Well, these are my pros and cons to using YouTube in the classroom. There's many, many, many more benefits to YouTube, and there's also other downsides to YouTube that I've heard people discuss. These have been the ones that when I use YouTube in my classroom that I have found to be what I come upon the most. Thank you for your time.